artists. How do you look at the Spotify rap graphics? And, you know, let, let's talk about your success, your streaming success. Yeah, um, I think it's just natural. Anybody that's competitive, you're naturally going to look at what somebody else is doing. Um, you're naturally going to compare yourself. Um, I think where it gets, what you have to do is kind of use it only as motivation and you can't get upset about it. You can't dwell on it. And you also can't think that if you do exactly what that person does, that it's going to work for you. Everybody has different plans. Obviously you can, you can take a little bit from here and there, but everybody works differently, you know? So um, I think you said it best on Twitter. I think you said, you know, the only person stats you should be worrying about is your own because at the end of the day, whatever you did last year, you're, you know, you're trying to, progress and you're trying to get more fans and more listeners and more streams so it's you know okay what did I do last year that worked what didn't work how can I improve on that how can I make my strategy better for the next year and the year after that and, and kind of build off your own numbers right and, and for those that don't know what what are your what did your stream because you posted it so you were yeah. fine releasing this information what number did you put on the board this year um I think it was 55 I think it was 55 million people he's talking about million not yeah, like 50 55 streams so yeah, that's I think 55 million i think is what it was <laughs> and and that's pretty impressive you know you're 100 percent independent um you are one of the people you're one of the many people i think about when i hear somebody say something like oh you don't make money off streams or you need some kind of secret you know sauce to get to get the streams up because your success is not based on playlist success can you talk about yeah. how you've been able to get you know 55 million streams then that's just on spotify so yeah i think that um it's from a number of things but i think it started i mean i think diehard fans my number so to put it in perspective my number of people that listen to me more than any other artist was fifty five thousand people which Crazy. i know that's probably I the most that was, that's Huh. That's probably the most impressive statistic that I, cause I think I saw you posted. I was just kind of going through stuff that that's an impressive number. So 55,000 people. Yeah. Listen to you the most out of any other artist in the world. On Spotify. So that, yeah, that was the craziest stat for me too. I was like, wow, 55,000 people. This is, I was shocked. I was surprised, you know? So I think, but that's, I think that's a little bit of why my streaming numbers are high is because those people are listening to my songs, not once, not twice. You know, they're listening to them. I think like I'm on the This Is Futuristic playlist, I think it like listener to stream ratio is like 50 to one or something like that. Like they're just bumping, super bumping the same songs over and over again. So I think that's a big part of it. Um, I also think that getting... I've worked with a lot of different artists. So I think I'm related to a lot of different artists when you when you get on mm -hmm. Spotify radio. Um, I think that I come up anytime you're listening to almost anybody in the independent rap space, I think I, my name probably comes up. Anybody all the way from, you know, an NF to a Hobson to a Tech to a to a Gianni and Kyle to a Super Duper Kyle. I think collaborating with so many different genres of, of, of rap has kind of, I think, put me in a lot of different categories. And that's why my streams are so high. That's a super gem because you've, you've been very intentional about collaborations. That's been one of the keys to your success.